Hi guys, thank you for joining me for another video. Today I'm going to be setting up a cage in preparation for a new hamster, which is always super exciting. So I'm going to be having a new hamster and she's going to live in the pop-up cage, which is this cage right here. So if you've like watched my channel for a little bit, you know my Russian dwarf hamster Polo used to live in that cage, but unfortunately he passed away about a month ago now, so it has been sitting empty. Well, I say empty, I've been using it as storage for a little bit because I also wanted to have a massive sort out of all of my things. Things. So I've had hamsters for a fair few years now and my collection of stuff has been slowly growing and I haven't been the best at organising it which meant when I came to like clean out a cage I was grabbing stuff from just everywhere and I'm making a ton of mess. So I wanted to have a good sort through first which I have done. <laughs> I've got rid of some old uh, old stuff as well so it should be a lot nicer now to set up cages and things and I know where everything is <laughs> which is always useful. So now I'm ready to set up the cage for a new hamster which is what I'm going to be doing today. Here is the cage as it is now. As you can see, I'm just storing a couple of things um, in here. I have a little bit of um, Megazord left, not enough to actually use in a cage. So I actually ended up ordering some audios because I do prefer that. Um, so I've got some of that. We've got a couple of um, bags of tea bag bedding. So this is the size, this is a full bag of tea bag bedding. Um, and that's about how much of the cage uh, it covers up, if you're wondering. They do come in quite big bales and they last a really long time, um, but I always order them two at a time because I still do get through it quite easily. Okay, so here is the cage all cleaned out. I've just used a vacuum to kind of get up any dust or anything. And I've also wiped all of the plastic windows at the front with some pet safe cleaner. So this cage actually um, doesn't come painted like this. I've painted it with Plastico. One, because I think it looks better. And two, it does help add some protection to the cage. In terms of the bedding I'm going to be using, I'm going to be starting off with some Orbeos. This is probably my, like, favourite one to use alongside uh, tea bag bedding which is what's in this black bag here. <laughs> I haven't been able to get um, get my hands on it for about a year now because it's always been out of stock so I was super happy it was back in stock because I had been using Megazorb which I think is still a good choice but I definitely prefer the Orbeos. So Orbeos is um, hemp bedding. I find it to be like super absorbent. It doesn't smell which Megazorb can smell sometimes. And then I also use it with tea bag bedding because Orbeos wouldn't hold burrows or anything. So I like to use it with a paper base bedding, which is what tea bag bedding is. Okay, so a little bit of an update. All the bedding is in. So we've got tea bag bedding on that side. And then Orbeos on this side. Although the Orbeos does actually like run under this little bit here. Um, just to protect the tray a little bit. But you can't see it. So I did cover Orbeos across the whole base. Uh, I haven't put much in yet, just that little hide there because I wanted a little bit of a partition. And then this plastic tray here is um, a cat litter tray, I believe from Home Bargains, uh, if I'm remembering correctly. And that's where I'm going to be putting the sand. So I've just kind of buried it in the um, Orbeos because the Orbeos will be able to like hold the weight of it and stuff. So no sand in there yet because I'd probably have gained a ton of bedding in there. So that'll be one of the last things. But now I'm going to start putting all the hides and tunnels and everything in. So I've gone ahead and added in some tunnels, some hides, kind of all like the, the big things really. There's a little tunnel buried there, there's a bendy bridge. I've got this castle at the front here, uh, one of my favourite things I think. And then that's going to be the sand bath uh, with the bendy bridge in and out of it. There's just no sand in it yet. And I also have um, a water bottle water bowl and um, food bowl. Okay, so I've had a bit of an idea with um, this jar here. Now this jar is from Ikea and as you can see it currently has um, some whimsies in it. There's some toothbrushes and then uh, I can't quite see one out there, like a little alligator at the back. And in the past I've used this as a um, sand bath but because I've only got Orbeos and Tiba bedding in at the moment and I only have a little bit of Megazorb, I'm thinking of putting Megazorb in here and then putting this um, in the cage as a hide. The only thing is, of course, it already has some stuff in it. And the only other jar that I have empty um, is this one here. And I don't think all of them are gonna fit in here, but I'm gonna figure something out and put some Megazorb in this. So I managed to fit all the alligator whimsies in this jar. And then the um, <laughs> the toothbrush, uh, the toothbrushes, there's quite um, a few in here. They're just in a little, um, Ziploc plastic bag for now until I can find somewhere else for them. So here it is. I had to uh, like rejig a few things and I also uh, managed to fit this in. It might be a little busy. I'll have to see um, how the hamster manages with the cage, but that's what the jar looks like. And that is the Megazorb in there. So it should be pretty easy for them to get in and out. And yeah, it just adds a little bit of um, a different substrate in there for her. So next step is the sand bath and then we're getting really close to being done. <laughs> 
this is the scent I'm going to be using. I'm going to have to keep it upside down um, because the bag is red here. But I ordered this from Zoo Plus and I ordered three bags of it. This is the last bag I have now. Unfortunately, um, one bag was completely ripped open when they delivered it. And um, yeah, the other two bags were ripped and missing some sand. So... I did message them um, about it and they never actually got back to me so I'm a little disappointed in that and I probably won't be buying this again um, which is a shame because it's actually really nice sand but I pretty much use um, the whole bag to fill up the sand bath and I'm going to put it in now. So that's the entirety of that bag of sand all tipped in and kind of like leveled out. I am a really big fan of um, using this cat litter tray as a sand bath. It does use a lot of sand but it also gives this really nice large area. Like as you can see like in relation to the cage it is still a nice big area of sand and it also keeps it super easy to clean being that it's all contained in like a little plastic tray. There is the uh, sand bath completely finished. We have a wheel in there, hide and then a bendy bridge just so the hamster can get in and out more easily. And we are almost done. The last thing I'm going to do um, for now is just put a few chews in there. I'd normally put stuff like um, a forage mix and of course I'd um, fill up the food and water. But since there's not a hamster in there at the moment, I'm not going to do that. I'll do that um, nearer the time. But I am going to go ahead and put a few chews around and then I think that's where I'll leave it. Okay, so I've grabbed uh, quite a good selection of chews here. The only thing is that's the only um, loofah chew I had. Uh, I've put it there. It's absolutely massive. <laughs> I would normally use like a little bit of loofah, but that's what I've got for now. So that's going to have to go in. <laughs> and I also moved that little um, like climbing frame type thing into the sand bath because I thought it worked um, well there. adding like a little platform that the hamster could walk straight onto and the sand would kind of like anchor it well. So I filled the little gap um, left at the front with this little train here. This was um, like a Pets at Home train uh, in their Christmas uh, stuff like quite a few years ago now, but I've just filled the space with that. So I'm just gonna scatter around all these chews. Okay, so here's a little overview of the finished cage. I did go ahead and take out that leaf chew because it was just way too big. But this is everything else. So apart from like the food and water and everything, uh, the cage is all ready. So hopefully in my next video, um, I'll be able to show you a hamster living in here. But that is where I'm going to leave it for now. So thank you for watching. Uh, let me know what you thought of the cage in the comments and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.